Welcome back to TEC2. Today we're going to be talking about how to add thermostats to the contractor portal. So you can add numerous types of thermostats on there. Some of them can be added automatically by the factory. Some of them you can add as a dealer. So the factory knows based on your warranty registration records or based on consumer rebate registration records, what serial numbers are associated with dealers and they can add them to the portal for you automatically. And that does happen. Additionally, you can manually add thermostats onto the portal. So if you have older stats or if you have stats that used to be serviced by one dealer and now you're going to service that customer, I'm going to show you today how to add them on there manually. So let's get started with that. Once we are logged into HVAC Partners and navigate to the dealer portal like we've done in previous videos, I'll see my dashboard and when I want to add a new thermostat manually, I'm going to click on Customers. And it'll show me how many I have connected and how many are in the queue. Queue means once again that the factory has associated that customer with me via serial number, but that customer stat is not yet online. Now what I want to do is I want to manually add stats that the customer has online, but that are not associated with me for whatever reason. So I'm going to do that by coming over here and clicking on add control. So when I do that, I'm going to pick the type of thermostat that I want to add. I need to pick that because each thermostat was designed over you know, various years and they all work a little bit differently as far as how they communicate. So I have to tell the portal which one I'm going to actually connect to. So the first screen choice is Infinity Touch, which would also be the same as Evolution Connects. I have the Core Stats, which would be the same as the Housewise, the Comfort Wi-Fi for Carrier, which is the same as the Bryant Legacy, the new Core 5C and 7C, and then Ecobee. So we're gonna show you how each one of these works and where to get the information on the thermostat that you would need in order to connect it. So we're going to start with the Ecobee one because I happen to have one of those on my wall over here that I wanted to add on here anyway. So for Ecobee, it's asking me for the electronic serial number. So we need to go over to the thermostat and navigate to that screen to get that number. So let's do that now. On the Ecobee stat, we'll click down here to the little, uh, some guys call it the hamburger menu, but the little uh, folder. We'll scroll down to the very bottom where it says about. Click on that. And then down here, serial number. So we can either write that down or we can take a picture of it with our camera phone, either way, and we'll have that number. So once we have that number, we can put it in here where it says enter electronic serial number. Now I'm gonna hit add control. So it's gonna go out to the server that serves the thermostat up and it's gonna pull it in. So it has my, my information on there. It pulls in the address that I have here from my office because it's sitting on the wall in my office. If it doesn't pull any address information in, that means the consumer has not set their account up yet. So you can still connect it to your account, but you're not going to get any data because they have not connected to their account yet. In this case, it pulled up my address because it is a real customer. And I'm going to hit Add Customer. So it's going to go out and do that. I get a little message saying I did a good job with a nice little green check mark. And I'm all set. And now my thermostat's going to be on there. It'll first be in the queue, and then after a short period of time, after the factory views it, it'll move into the connected customer section, and I'll be able to access that, uh, assuming the customer has granted me access. So let's add a few more stats on here. If I go to Add Control, and if I pick a Evolution Connects or an Infinity Touch Control, same kind of thing. It's asking me for my serial number. So there's actually three ways to add these kind of stats on there. Once again, it could be the factory information from the warranty or um, rebate registrations, or I, the consumer stat could have added itself. So I could have used a flash drive to load my dealer contact info into the stat, which brings my phone number and logo and all that in. If I did that, it would be paired to me. Or if the customer picked me from their portal as a dealer with a zip code finder, it would be paired to me. And then this would be the final way to do it, which is I can enter a serial number here and do it here. So let's go on the Infinity stat now and find the serial number. On the Evolution Connects or the Infinity Touch, we'll go to Menu. We'll scroll down to Service. Model slash Serial Numbers. In this case, we want to get the model and serial number from the wall control, not from the furnace or the air conditioner. So I picked the wall control. And there's my serial number right there, 2817, etc. So I would have I put that serial number in here and I would have added that if I wanted to add that stat on. 
The next type on there that I can add would be a core thermostat or also the same as a Bryant Housewise stat. And by the way, if you're a carrier dealer that's servicing a Bryant customer or a Bryant customer servicing a carrier dealer, you can add those thermostats to your portal, assuming they're not previously connected to a different dealer. So this one's a little bit interesting for the core thermostat and the housewife thermostat. I need two serial numbers, which sounds weird as heck, right? So one of them is the electronic serial number. That's the serial number in the software of the thermostat from the company that manufactures the hardware for Bryant and Carrier. Then I also need the regular serial number, or also known as the warranty serial number. So I gotta find two different serial numbers to add on here. One's the hardware manufacturer and one's the actual carrier and Bryant uh, supplier. So there's two that I have to enter for the core and housewise, and then I can add the control. So let's go get those serial numbers. On the Bryant Housewise Carrier Core Stat, if we come into the menu and click on Service, then click on About. And there you'll see our serial number. That's what the portal is calling the electronic serial number. And then the newer versions of this stat, you'll see the serial number, and below that you'll see the warranty serial number. You need both of those numbers. This is an older one we've had for a few years in here now. We still need both numbers. I can get one of them from here, electronic serial number. The other serial number that I need, I'm gonna have to pull it off and get it off the tag on the back here. And then I would hit add control, now I'd be good to go there. The next one is the core 5C and 7C, which are the brand new Wi-Fi stats from Carrier and Bryant. So once again, I need the serial number, so let's go find those from the thermostat. On the core 7C, we'll press the start menu and we'll press menu and we'll hit next till we get to settings and we'll select that now we're going to scroll over to 13 where it says serial number and then press select and there's the number we're going to want to write down or take a picture of with our camera and then I would add control and then the very last one and these won't come up a lot but they might the comfort Wi-Fi or the Bryant legacy stats Similar to the core and housewise, those have two numbers. They have the electronic serial number from the company that hardware manufactures them. And then they have the Carrier and Bryant warranty serial number, which has the normal uh, week and uh, year date code in it. I need both of those from the product in order to enter them here. So let's go find those. We're gonna go to menu. Oops. In the menu, we're gonna scroll down to where it says about. We'll press OK. You can see here is our serial number. So we'll write that down. That's one of the two numbers that we need. The other number that we need, the other serial number, if you will, is written right here. Those two numbers together. So we'll jot those two down. And then I would add the control on there. So there's a lot of ways we can get these stats added on there. The factory can do it for us. Some cases the customer can get it added to our portal, and in other cases I will manually add it on here. Um, so once you get these stats on here, there's lots of stuff you can do. We have another video that shows you how that all works. Thanks for watching today.